All right, what is up guys? So in today's video, we got our first Outriders video. We should have made more by now, but I didn't because of the servers and like it took me a long time to get to challenge tier 15 and just got there like two or three days ago. Um, and then the nerfs happened. So I was gonna come out with this build, but yeah, I had it took me a while to perfect it. It's finally good now. Um, so in this guy, we're actually not gonna go over the build. We're gonna go over like how to clear chem plant easy and fast, all the little tricks I use um strategies and stuff like that just basically gonna go through it and show you guys while i do it this is on challenge tier 15 and i am solo so of course apply this to your group or whatever challenge tier you're on however you want to do it this is after the nerf so this is gonna be like supposed to be harder the nerf was fucking retarded we're not gonna go over that right now but um yeah the only thing you probably need for this uh if you have a weapon that has like right here i got concentration blast which makes enemies explode in a five meter radius there's all kinds of different variations of this. There's bone shrapnel. There's a there's a few of these uh, different type of mods. You need one of these mods because the enemies are going to be grouped up a few times. And I'm going to show you where during the video. And you'll need to like explode that mob so you can clear that area faster. So if I die or my frames are really bad, it's because one, the game optimization on this game fucking sucks. And two, I'm running OBS at the same time as the game. So yeah so first things first i always teleport behind that sniper right there if you have two people with you one of you guys needs to go for that sniper or if you're by yourself of course go for that sniper first i did just mess up and left this guy back here so already a mistake but yeah so next thing you need to kill this guy just ignore everyone else and kill him and then as soon as he dies all these guys are going to spawn right here so kill all of, kill this group and this is what oops i missed this is why you need like an explosive you see how i wiped out that whole group of ads and then you just work on these guys. Once you get these backline guys over here killed, you're going to go over there to the front and start working on those guys. So I teleport. I always go to the dude in the way back because normally they're grouped up. I would, did slow down a little bit, but they're always grouped up right there. You can kill that whole fucking group with one body. And I kind of split apart right here. So yeah. All right. Not bad. One minute. Um, normally I clear this part in like 55 seconds. The seconds kind of matter, not really. It just gives you room for errors. And this door taking up 10 seconds is also really dumb. So as soon as you come through this door, run to the left right here. And you need to take out this first captain. What I do with this explosive is kill the first guy right there. Kill the second guy. So basically you're using the enemies as like little grenades to... Don't miss. I'm derping right now. My frames are pretty bad. Um... You're using the enemies like little grenades to help you kill the bosses and shit. So next thing you kill is this big ass fucking ironclad right here. Fuck this guy. Bro, he's he's not taking damage, bro. He's not taking damage. Alright, he's glitching. Alright, there we go. He should die. Bro, fucking die. Super embarrassing. Alright, so we're gonna kill this fucking captain next. Um I'm running a trickster, obviously. And the trickster kind of makes these missions a little easier because of his teleport. I'm going to show you a few shortcuts if you have a trickster on your team. I don't know if the Devastator's teleport can do it, but the trickster definitely can. So you see how I just killed one enemy and that whole group just disappeared. So yeah, you want to take out the enemies in the back line because you don't want to kill all the enemies over there in the front. And then there's still be like a straggler and you got to run all the way to them. It will take up a lot of time. So be careful for that. Um... Okay, so after you kill this marksman back here, this door is going to open with a bunch of enemies. So you have to be ready for all of your AoE damage and shit like that. So you can see him spawning on the map. So teleport to a little one and and kill a little one first. Use them as grenades. Like I said, like um, if you can use a lot of these guys like grenades, then it's going to make your time a lot easier. So use him as a grenade. That captain's dead. That guy's dead. And we have like a little straggler rifleman. And we're, we're not even at three minutes, and we already cleared the second room. We're doing really good on this run. Um, so now what we're going to do, open this door. So when this door opens, the first thing you want to do is run to the right. This room in the right is, like, the best to fight um, to fight everyone in. I pick off that guy all the time. And then as soon as you get over here, those enemies are going to come out that top left door right here. Boom, a whole group of them. You kill one of them, it'll kill all of them. Sorry, guys, I'm talking really fast because shit just be happening right now, and I don't want you guys to, like, miss any of my strategies. After you kill that, that set of mobs, these ironclad and all these bullshit guys are going to come out of here. Kill them, and then after they're... What the fuck? And then after they're dead... Hold on, don't let that guy hit you. What the... These guys are, like, bruh. Okay. 
so we got a captain here goodbye captain okay so anytime you see enemies grouping up two or more you want to kill them because with your explosive whatever explosive you're using it's going to give you that extra damage so juggernaut captain next so and then if you run into these juggernaut captains don't run out of ammo trying to kill them whatever ammo sustain you have or don't burn all your stuff trying to kill them and then you're running around scared and not able to kill nothing else um put a couple shots into them and then go kill the other enemies if you're running like an infinite ammo build uh go kill an enemy to reload like don't don't waste all of your ammo on these fucking clowns right here because they will fuck you up all right so now enemies are going to spawn on this backside in a big ass group um same same deal guys when you see big ass group spawning you kill them so that's pretty much all there is to that. Um, this whole area is almost complete. I will teleport back for that guy. But there's a lot of guys back here I want to kill. And don't underestimate those little explosive crates that'll be on the world and shit. They be fucking people up. Okay, so now the second group is teleporting. I mean, port, uh, spawning in right back here to the right. I kind of did mess up by not being there. Because I could have killed them all right when they spawned in. But whatever. Still cleared them all out. So, kill this guy, and this wave is complete. So, this part is a part everyone's like, oh, it's an exploit. Uh, you can skip this. It's actually intended, guys. It says reach the elevator. Look on the left right here. It says reach the elevator. And then, oh, there's more. It's going to, like, tell you there's a bunch of more guys coming. All right. So, now the objective, it says survive until the elevator arrives. That's all the objective says, guys. It doesn't say to go kill nothing. So you can literally just stand right here and defend. And, like, it'll give you... The elevator's gonna spawn. It's on a time... Oh, I hate freeze. The elevator's on a timer. You don't actually have to kill anything. Like, I don't know why they think it's an exploit. Everybody's like, oh, it's an exploit. You can skip these guys. Like, look, boom. It's gonna walk in this bitch. Like, bruh, it's on a timer. So this part's really important. If you're on a trickster, you can teleport through this wall when the enemies spawn. And save yourself some time. I, did, I messed up because I was talking, but... Yeah, you can save yourself some time before the elevator even all the way comes down. A couple seconds, guys. And then by the time it comes down and opens, your team can come out here and help you clean up. And that's it. And I'm holding E. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I got to talk really fast because, as you can see, minutes are going by. And I have to hurry up and show you guys so I don't mess up. This is, like, live. Like, I'm, I'm trying this live and trying to explain to you guys while I do it. If this is like too much, I'm talking too fast, my voice is too annoying, just to let me know. Um, so as soon as this area starts, you want to run immediately to this back room right here with all these enemies. Like I said, use them as grenades. Look, half of his health was gone just from the grenades. So use use the enemies like little grenades to refill your ammo. Don't just focus all of your ammo on the big guys. So group them all up over here, use them as grenades. Look, that whole area just cleared out and I really didn't have to do much. Boom, boom. And then this door is going to open with this big guy. Now, these two are going to jump at you, so I just teleport when they come towards me. That was really weird. The fucking force of the bullet knocked him to a new dimension, which is kind of going to ruin my time a little bit because all these grenades he's not getting. So come over here. Now, kill the, kill the little mobs to fuck him up. Like he's already dead, so goodbye. That's that. Okay, so now on this part, out of these two little side doors right here, this one, and the one over there, there's going to be the fire guy. So I don't know if you guys knew, but you don't actually have to fight this guy. If you destroy his backpack, he just he just died. But if you destroy his backpack, he actually dies too. So um, just a little tip for you guys. But if you have enough damage to just melt him, just go ahead and melt him. Teleport behind him. So you saw I shot the backpack and didn't finish him. He's going to explode and die for 9 million damage. And the last enemy is going to come out this big ass door right here. You want to start running towards it because timer does not stop for some reason when you're in like cutscenes and bullshit like that. All right. So this is the last enemy. This is the boss right here. As you can see, the timer did not stop. So I just teleport behind him. I put a couple shots into him. Nothing crazy. Get him to half health. Boom, now I start grenading him with these guys. And that's pretty much all to it. This is about to be over in a few seconds. Excuse me. I'm not even trying to... See, I wasn't even trying to kill him. That's fucked up. Now he's dead. 
Gonna run over here. And I like to let the enemies group up. Because they're easier to kill like that. Especially, like I said, you need to have some kind of explosive on death or something like that. And boom, we cleared it, guys. I didn't see the time, but we'll check right now. Uh, this is tier 15 and I'm solo, so... Just a quick little guide on how to make chem plant really fast. This is after the nerf. We cleared it in nine minutes. So, yeah, the nerf was really fucking retarded. Like, we were able to do this before. Like, all the people they nerfed were able to do this before already. They they just messed it up for the people that aren't, like, as far ahead as us or, like, don't have as good builds. They messed it up for them because now they have to struggle or they have to run some fucking super optimized build like this just to win. It's retarded, but yeah, we got no golds because we were talking about the developers, so make sure before you guys open this crate, you don't talk about developers because yeah, RNG will fuck you up. I, know, I gotta clean all my inventory. Don't touch me. Alright. And that's it, guys. That's all there is to it. Um, I will be releasing this build really soon. I just want to finish maxing out all the attributes, but as you can see, it's already done. Um... If you guys want to see this build, I'll let you know. You could probably apply it to other classes. I haven't really played the other classes. This is just a trickster. Um, and that's all there is to it, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you want to see more Outriders content, sub, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever YouTuber says. Um, yeah, y'all have a nice day and peace out.